Hey guys and welcome back. It's Ben here at the Weymouth Street Massive and welcome back to another vlog. Um, it is three vlogs in four days and we're doing pretty well. And it's a new ground for us, a new home side. I've never seen one of their games before. Don't know too much about them, but I'm really looking forward to watching this game. We've seen the away side a few times. That's Westbury United and they are up against Poulton Rovers. Both of the uh, Southern League South. Uh, so, yeah, both good sides in their own right um, up here at Poulton's ground. But you know the drill. If you haven't already, like and subscribe down below. Uh, we are on our way to 500 subscribers, and we are getting there slowly. We're, we're about 49 subscribers away. So let's say, let's aim for two, 455. Four more of you, hit that subscribe button, join the channel. Let's keep moving. Let's get there. And I'll see you in just a second for my prediction. All right, it is prediction time in Poulton for Poulton Rovers versus uh, Westbury United. Westbury, we know decently well. Uh, Poulton, less so. But in their previous meeting this season at Westbury's ground, Poulton stole a 1 0 win. Um, and took home three points. So Westbury will looking for, be looking for revenge. In the league table, both mid-table sides, currently Westbury are one point above Poulton, but um, Westbury have a game in hand, I believe, on Poulton, so they could increase that to four. So three points here would be big for Poulton. It would mean they currently move above them and cut that gap down to one point if Westbury win their game in hand. So it's going to be an interesting game. Lots up to grabs, three points. Can they move up the table? We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'm going to go with... I think both sides are good. It was close in the last game. I'm probably going to go 1-1, I think, here. It's obviously Poulter in our home, had the home support behind them. But Westbury are a good side, have some very dangerous players. I'm going to go 1-1. I'll see you in a second for the start of this game. There were warning signs, and he gets in and he scores. Callum Demkiv, second game since his return, I believe, and he slotted one home. There you have it. It is half time here, uh, and Pulse and Rovers find themselves a goal down, um, courtesy of Callum Demkiv. Um, there were warning signs only a couple of minutes earlier. He had a chance, uh, but just couldn't quite wrap his foot around it, get on the end of it, um, and it went out behind for a goal kick. But he got his second chance, and he didn't make any mess of it. Um, got behind the defender. Defender couldn't keep up. And he slotted it past the keeper for 1-0. Um, on the for the rest of the half, though, um, it was interesting. Yeah. So the f first half an hour, it was quite even between the sides. Probably Westbury had the better chance. There was a header that was quite open that probably should have been put on target at least. Um, but other than that, there weren't too many shots. Um, and those that were on target were usually saved quite comfortably. Um, but it's been an entertaining game so far. Both teams pushing. Um, and I could see Poulton getting a goal back, or maybe two, if they come out here in the, the second half with the right attitude. Um, whereas Westbury, I could see them doubling it if they wanted to as well. So I think there's goals, more goals in this game. I'll see you in the second half. Oh! Thank you. 
Copy. And in the flash, it is 1 0. They've equalised. Down the other end, in from the right hand side. Great goal. It. it is full time here. 1 1 is the final score. Three points on the prediction league for me. Um, and yeah, it was a great counter attacking goal by um, by Polton Rovers. Uh, they got down the right hand side and put it away. Um, and for Westbury, it was just a case of they couldn't quite carve out a good enough chance to put away. They had a few half chances. I think Gary Higdon had a great volley, uh, but it was just straight at the keeper, unfortunately. Um, and, and then down the other end, there was a, a, a second yellow for one of the Westbury defenders, I believe. Um, so they were down to 10 men for the last five, six minutes. So that didn't help their cause in trying to find a winner. But all even today, as I predicted. But if you haven't already, like and subscribe down below. Join the channel. We are on our way to 500 subscribers and we need your, all your help to get there. So hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. We're aiming for 440, 455. So hit that subscribe button. I've been Ben. This has been the Wayne Street Massive. We'll see you very soon for another video.